around, whether it's in your sign or it's in a particular house, and we're going to be talking about which house it's going to affect for each rising sign. Jupiter's there to bring a blessing. Uh, Jupiter loves to bring blessings, big blessings. In astrology, we have two benefic planets, and we consider Jupiter to be the big benefic planet, the planet of big blessings, and Venus is our smaller benefic planet. So this is the planet of small blessings. So we love to see Jupiter in our sign. We love to see Jupiter in any particular house because we know Jupiter is there to bring growth opportunity and all that good stuff. Now, even though Jupiter sounds like a wonderful planet, and it is, Jupiter can also make you overdo things. Uh, because it does not know how to do small things, because it's a planet of just more and more and more, sometimes it can make us a little bit overindulgent in certain areas of our life. Uh, for example, when Jupiter is going through your second house of earned income, how you earn your money, this could be um, a benefit of money-making opportunities just coming to you out of the woodwork. Uh, you just being blessed with being able to come up with ideas and concepts and how to make money, or you get surprise money from sources that you never thought about. However, um, it also can make you overindulgent in the second house. So it will make you want to spend the money just as quick as you get it. You are ready to spend it. So you want to spend it on good food. You want to buy like expensive items. You want to buy expensive luxuries. You just want to spend this money because it feels <laughs> so good. It does. So it's like a double-edged source. And sometimes it can make us a little bit overly optimistic. So if it's in the second house of money, uh, you may think that you have more money than you really do. So you out there just spending, 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 and later on, you're going to find out that you really overdid it. So that's how Jupiter works. It gives us all these blessings. Yes, it does. But you have to kind of keep it in check uh, and keep a watchful eye on overdoing things, depending on what area of your life it is in, in your chart it's in. Now, Jupiter. I got my notes here, so I'm going to read off some little things that I wanted to make sure you, that you knew. Okay, so Jupiter in Aquarius. Now, Jupiter went into the sign of Aquarius back in, um, you might want to write this down because you may want to think back what happened during this time period. Jupiter first went into Aquarius on December the 19th, 2020. And it stayed in the sign of Aquarius until May 13th, 2021. Now, with Jupiter in Aquarius, that means if you are a sun, moon, or rising or ascendant Aquarius, you felt this energy more than any of the other signs because it's in your sign. So this was an energy of expansion for my Aquarius. Um, and that could have looked like any area of your life could have expanded. You could have... Um, started a business, got a new job, um, Aquarians could have traveled. Now, I know COVID restrictions may have put a damper on that, but maybe some of you were, are, you know, um, able to travel. But it just felt like you were receiving blessings upon blessings during this time. Now, the next signs that felt this energy really, really heavily were uh, because Aquarius is a fixed sign, that meant all the fixed signs felt this and benefited from it. So that meant um, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leos. If you have sun, moon, or rising in any of those signs, this Jupiter energy, you felt it too. There was a blessing around you. You seem to be just divinely blessed very lucky. You were probably very optimistic. Um, now, some of you with Jupiter, Jupiter in your sign, especially my Aquarians, uh, may have experienced some weight gain during this period. Uh, again, because this is a planet of overindulgence. So sometimes when Jupiter comes through your sign, it brings a little weight gain. So 
But that's what it did. So from December 19th to 2020, um, until May 13th, 2021, we had Jupiter in Aquarius. Now, some of the, one thing that happened collectively for everyone, for the world, that was very interesting during this time, this was the period that cryptocurrency became a big deal. Uh, people were making a lot of money between this period if you went into cryptocurrency. And the reason is because Aquarius uh, governs technology. Uh, Aquarius governs hopes, dreams, and wishes. It governs forward thinking. So anything, <laughs> so I just told my friend I gained weight and I feel it. Yeah, that's that's Jupiter. So during that period, cryptocurrency was a big deal. And that's when people were making a lot, a lot of money during that period. So hopefully you were one of those people that took advantage of that cryptocurrency because you should have made a lot of money during that time. So that is an example of how Aquarius works because cryptocurrency is a very Aquarian thing. So Aquarian themed things became a big deal during that period. Um, that is when Aquarius rules... Um, friends, groups of people. It rules humanitarianism. So uh, Aquarius is all not about the individual. Aquarius is about the collective and how to make things better. That was a period where um, there were, you know, the protest. Uh, there was a period where, you know, we were collectively as a people trying to come together. So there was a lot of going on around the world with regards to human rights, you know, things of that nature, things breaking down government, uh, making things better for the whole and not just the individual. So that was the collective theme during that time. Now, what happened after May 13th is Jupiter did this little move and it moved out of the sign of Aquarius and it moved into the sign of Pisces. So this shifted the energy to Pisces and the other, other mutable planets. So from May 13th to July the 28th, it's like a two month period, a little over two months, Jupiter went out of Aquarius and it moved into Pisces. Okay, so that means Pisces natives, uh, that means Geminis, Virgos, oh, what's my other mutable sign? Uh, my Virgos, let's see, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. You guys got this energy for two months. And this is a very special energy because in traditional astrology, Jupiter actually governs Pisces, okay? That's in traditional astrology. In modern, modern astrology, Neptune governs Pisces. But in traditional astrology, originally, um, Jupiter governed Pisces. So when Jupiter went into, went, went into Pisces, it knew this energy. This meant Jupiter was at home in Pisces. And when a planet is at home, it works its optimal best. It works wonderfully. So from May the 13th to July the 28th, this was a divine time. And this was a time that you should have used it to manifest anything that you wanted. Because if anyone knows anything about Pisces, Pisces is a very spiritual planet. Um, I mean, a spiritual sign. Pisces governs the spirituality, your afterlife. Pisces governs... Uh, magic and manifestation. Pisces is the sign that walks between the worlds. So this is the sign that walks between the spiritual realm and the earthly realm. So these people are very intuitive. They're very compassionate. They have uh, natural manifesting um, abilities. So these are the people that, you know, this energy was all about bringing things into fruition that you wanted. This was all about compassion. This was all about healing. This was all about love. This was all about helping other people. This was just a really, really good energy. And um, during this time, I started a 
um, Jupiter in Pisces uh, manifestation period. And this is where, uh, depending on your rising sign, there was a certain day during the month that I wanted you to fast until 12 noon and manifest certain things into your life. So hopefully you took advantage of that. And um, it was just a wonderful opportunity. So Jupiter stayed in Pisces for um, those two months, which was excellent, excellent energy. It was great. But now Jupiter has decided it is going back to Aquarius. Now, this little two-month window that it was in Pisces was just kind of like a sneak preview of what you're going to get at the end of the year. Because at the end of the year, in December, at the end of December, Jupiter is going to go back into Pisces for a full year. So whatever you experienced um, from um, May 13th to July the 28th, this is what you're going to experience again at the end of the year in December when, when Jupiter goes back into Pisces for one full year. So this was basically a sneak preview of what you were going to get. Now, Jupiter's back in Aquarius now. It got back in Aquarius uh, actually today. It went back into Aquarius today. And it's going to stay there for the remainder of the year until the end of December. And this is what we're going to talk about tonight as to what house this is going to affect. Because this is going to go back to some situations that you were dealing with prior to Jupiter going into Pisces. But we're going to be able to look at it differently. We're going to be able to uh, go back and maybe fix, revisit, um, rework certain situations in your life because you've had the opportunity to see what it looks like. So now we're going to come back to it. And with it being an Aquarian energy, we're going to look at it with a forward mind, a clear mind, and we're going to do things differently with regards to this situation in your life. And we're going to do it with innovative, an innovative mind. And we're going to approach it with taking the feelings and the emotions out of it and just looking at it with a sensible mind. Because sometimes emotions can cloud our good judgment. And Aquarius is, uh, is, uh, is the sign that is able to detach emotion. I had a crazy two months. I'm going to I'm gonna have that for a year. Doesn't have to be crazy because see what, what this, the benefit of this is. You know this energy now. So you know how to work with it. So now that it's back in Aquarius, we're going to be able to look at whatever you were dealing with before, before it went into Pisces with an innovative mind. But you have to take the emotion out of it. Aquarius does not do emotions. This is one of the signs that can detach emotion from a situation and look at it logically. And this is the way we need to be looking at this. Okay, so we're going to get down to the nitty gritty uh, and get you moving on with how this is going to um, work out for you. So again, since we're back in Aquarius, the signs that are going to be affected the most, but everybody's going to get this energy, are Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. So if you have sun, moon, or rising in any of those signs, you are going to feel this energy heavily. And this is going to be great for you because you know how to work this energy now. Okay? Do we have any questions before we go any further? Any questions? Bum, bum, ba, da, 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 da. Any questions? No, no. Okay. All righty. So let, the first thing we're going to talk about is that two-month period that you had from May 13th to July 28th when you had Jupiter in Pisces. And we're going to see what happened to you during that time because, again, keep in mind, you're going to have this experience again at the end of the year, starting December the 30th for a full year, Okay. So you can't say that you didn't, you don't know what's going on because you had two months to understand what was happening with you. So if you get to December and you still run around here like a chicken with your head cut off, not trying, not saying that you don't realize what's happening, um, you should have been paying attention because that theme is going to come back up again. So we're going to start at the top of the zodiac, which is again, listen for your sun, moon, and rising. Your rising is going to be the prevalent in this reading. Um, so that's going to be the primary thing that you're going to listen for. So the things that you're going to experience at the end of the year, starting in December, 
for one full year are the things that you experience from May 13th to July the 28th. So Jupiter will be back in Pisces at the end of the year. So for my Aries rising sun or moon, the Jupiter in Pisces period, that two month window, had everything to do with things that related to the area of your life that you keep hidden. This was the area of your life um, that contains your spiritual growth, your spiritual experiences. Uh, this is the area of your life that governs the things that you keep hidden from the world um, or things that are hidden from you, okay? This is also an area that governs specialized populations. So this could look like uh, hospitals, institutions, mental institutions, rehabs, and this also could look like um, prisons. This is also the area of our life that we hold our traumas, our healing, um, our subconscious, and our beliefs, our limiting beliefs are here. So my Aries sun, moon, or risings, this could have looked like for you in that two-month period of a lot of work on healing yourself internally, a lot of work or addressing um, any traumas that you have experienced in life that you may have been repressing or pushing down and not dealing with. This may have looked like um, those of you Aries Risings that felt like you had dealt with the situation and you thought you had put it to rest, but somehow it came back up again and you had to address it. Um, this was also a great period for Aries Risings for any of you that took advantage of going to therapy. This would have been excellent for you. Um, this will also should have been a period where uh, Aries Risings would have been um, forming your spiritual life, growing your spiritual life, maybe questioning your spiritual life, but putting some type of spiritual practice into place for yourself. And for my Aries Risings, this may have been uh, an energy that you were dealing with someone or maybe yourself, you were dealing with a situation with someone in a hospital or someone going in and out of the hospital. Uh, maybe someone was going into rehab, and this could have been you also. Or maybe someone uh, dealing with someone in, in a confined space, maybe a prison or something to that effect. Now, this also could have looked like Aries Risings. Um, information that had been once hidden from you could have been revealed to you. Now, that may have been voluntary or involuntary. Or if there is something that you had been working on behind the scenes, may have come out. A lot of my Aries Risings, I think, were in relationships that they did not share with people um, for whatever reason. Uh, this could have been um, you didn't want to share it because you didn't know whether it was going to work out. You was trying to wait to see if this was going anywhere. Or this could have been some of my Aries Risings were involved with people they should not have been involved with and uh, they didn't want anybody to know about and maybe that came out at some point. But that's what happened in that window of two months from May to July. Now, we are out of that energy, but keep in mind, we will revisit that energy Aries Risings at the end of the year. So you will know when this comes back around, okay, I know how to deal with this. Um, Taurus, rising, sun or moon. The Jupiter and Pisces two-month window had everything to do with your friendships. Um, everything to do with the people and the organizations that you connect yourself with. This also had to do with um, your long-term goals, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, and technology was a big thing for Taurus Rising. So this could have looked like uh, from May to July, my Taurus Rising sun or moons uh, really reevaluating your friendships. Um, now this could have looked like um, meeting new people, starting new friendships, but I'm thinking this was you assessing the friends that you attach yourself to and whether or not those relationships, those friendships were serving you well uh, whether it was something that you wanted to stay in or, or whether or not you were being a good friend and whether you were showing up for your friends. But it was all about your friendships, 
um, and just aligning yourself with the correct people and deciding whether or not certain relationships, certain friendships were going to stay in your life and uh, maybe meeting new people. This was also an excellent time for my Taurus Risings with regards to technology. For those of you that were trying to start a home-based business or something about working from home, this may have come up. Maybe this was an idea that you wanted to put together. Maybe you guys started working from home um, during the, the pandemic and you decided that this worked for you. So this will maybe an energy of expanding a home office or a home-based business, but it had everything to do with technology and bringing that to the forefront. Now, this also could have looked like for some of my Taurus Risings with, um, with uh, technology. Some of you tried online dating. I don't know if that was a success for you, but maybe it crossed your mind to do online dating. And also for my Taurus Risings, because this is the, the, the area of long-term goals, dreams, and wishes, some of you may experience something that you have been working, had been working towards for a very long time, actually came to fruition during this time. Or you see the light at the end of the tunnel with a particular goal. Now, keep in mind, we're out of that energy. But again, we will revisit this. This is going to light up in your um, at the end of the year for you for an entire year. So get prepared. This energy that you're going to have at the entire year, at the end of the year, is energy that is going to make dreams come true. Okay? So you need to dream big with this energy. Took all the steps. Ah, took all the steps to start a new business, officially started July the 1st, online dated, okay? Now, keep in mind, Rhonda, this is going to come around again at the end of December, and you're going to have a full year of this. So I want you to prepare for that. Uh, so now, my Gemini Risings, Sun or Moon, um, that two-month window had everything to do with your career, okay? So this could have looked like my Gemini Risings, um, had some career successes. Um, maybe uh, some of my Gemini Risings were contemplating starting a new career path, or maybe you got picked for a promotion, or something to the effect of your career went through a change. Um, this is also the area of authority figures, and um, our father is in this particular area. So, this would have been great for you, um, Gemini Risings, that are in corporate America or in business or whatever. Um, you were very, uh, looked very favorable upon from people that were above you. So these are people that wanted to help you with your career aspirations. Keep in mind, this is going to come back at the end of the year. So I, if I were my Gemini Risings, I would definitely be getting my career goals together uh, getting those resumes updated. Um, this will also be good for those of you um, that needed to add skills to kind of make yourself more marketable. So maybe you need to take a class or something to add to your skills to make you more marketable because this is going to be a great time for you to uh, ask for a raise or a promotion at the end of the year. Now, authority figures. Um, now, if you are some of, some of those Gemini Risings that still have your father with you. This could have been a, a healing of a relationship with your father or the father-like figure in your life. This would have been great energy for you guys to um, come together if there has been some type of disconnect between the two of you and to kind of establish a new relationship moving forward. Some of my Gemini Risings, because this is somewhat of a relationship house, some of you actually may have gotten married during this two month window or engaged or something about your relationship status would have changed or can potentially change. You see it possibly changing. Again, remember this is going to be energy that you're gonna have at the end of the year. So this was just kind of like a sneak peek of what could come up with you. So some of my Gemini Risings, y'all may be taken off the market. Y'all may start a relationship, may get married, may get engaged. That may be a thing for you guys, but definitely the focus could be on your career and you can make great strides um, in your career 
but you need to start preparing for it now because these months are flying by fast and we will be in December before you know it. And it's not a time to start getting ready in December. You need to start preparing now for that, okay? Cancer rising sun or moons. Uh, that two month window was everything about your higher education. So my cancer risings, um, you guys may have started to think about going back to school, getting another degree, um, choosing an area of study that you've been interested in. This would have been a great time for learning opportunities. Now, Cancer Risings would have probably wanted to travel with the restrictions. I don't know if that was a possibility for you, but since we are opening up again and things look decent, if we can kind of like get everything under control, I would definitely say at the end of the year, Cancer Risings, you're probably going to be pay taking a long distance trip. And when I say long distance trip, I need you to guide, this is like passport type traveling. So if you don't have your passport, Cancer Rising, I would strongly suggest that you get it because you may get an opportunity to travel unexpectedly or you may just plan a trip. Um, also look into going back to school. That will be good for you. But this would have been also a period during that two-month window that your faith may have come into question. And when I say question, uh, because with everything that has gone on in the last year, all of us have had to kind of question our faith and uh, realign ourselves as to how we see the world and what we believe. But I do believe Cancer Risings may have had some type of spiritual shift uh, with their belief system. Uh, how they saw the world, how they related to their fellow man, how they just looked at the world as a whole. And that may have shifted their faith in what they believe in. And sometimes, you know, we have a spiritual growth. So maybe um, it went from, you know, you've always had this spiritual or religious belief up until now and with everything happened, you don't necessarily feel connected to your faith anymore. So this may have looked like you either reconnecting with your faith or considering looking at how other people worship and potentially adopting a new faith or at least a new practice of spirituality added to yourself. So that actually, again, will be a theme for you at the end of the year. Uh, Leo rising sun or moons. This is my rising sign, so I know this energy. This That two-month window was in your area that governs business and other people's money. This was also an area of shared resources, shared finances. So this could mean anything that you share with another person. That could be a spouse, long-term partner, business partner, or a financial institution, Um came into play during that two-month window. This is also the area that governs our insurances, um, inheritances. Um, this is also the area that governs sex and intimacy is in this house. Now, for me, um, I can say that during that window, I got an unexpected check. So a lot of my Leo Risings may have gotten unexpected money from maybe an insurance payout. Uh, maybe someone left something to you in an inheritance or someone gave you something with regards to an inheritance. Um, this would have been an excellent time for those of you that wanted to get a mortgage or get financing for something. Maybe you wanted financing for a business. Maybe you needed a loan. Uh, maybe you wanted to get financing for a car, but this would have been excellent for you to go to a financial institution to secure funds for whatever it is that you needed. Um, this would have been a great period for you to um, get a tax professional, um, Leo Rising, to try to help you get as much benefits back from your taxes. So that would have helped you a lot. You may have gotten an unexpected check or payout from uh, the IRS, the government. Uh, it was all kind of money floating around during that two-month period that they were just giving away to people. So hopefully you took advantage of that opportunity to secure some of those funds. Now, with regards to sex and intimacy, 
um, this could have actually looked like a reconnection of the intimacy in a relationship that you may have been in. Um, let's just say you were married or you were in a long-term relationship. This should have been a time in that two-month period where uh, you guys reconnected on a very, very deep, intimate level. Or that was a desire for you. And especially, even if you were single, that may have looked like you wanting, you know, at this point, thinking about the level of intimacy and connection that you want in your next relationship and how you want it to look, how you wanted it to look like. That could have been a thing. But definitely money and taking advantage of all this free money that was out there, um, was a good thing for you uh, because it's coming around again in December. This is what I would tell you to do. Refinance anything that you can refinance at a lower interest rate. Go to the bank, get funding if you need it. Um, try to um, make sure you get a tax professional coming up for the next tax period. Anything to benefit you. And if you are starting a business, this may be great energy for you to find the right business partner for yourself. And this was also good for those of you that were starting spiritual based business. Excellent for that. So again, if you want to start a spiritual based business, December is going to be uh, excellent for that. And you have an entire year to put all that work into that. Um, Virgo risings, sun or moon, um, this Jupiter and Pisces was in your, your marriage house. So this looked like one-on-one -on -one relationships. That could be business, long-term relationship, marriage. This is also the area that governs legal affairs and open enemies. So my Virgo risings, this definitely should have brought the romance if you were in a relationship. It sh definitely should have brought the remote romance back, uh, the compassion, the, con the connection. This could also have brought in a new partner for some Virgo risings. Some of you started a new relationship and the relationship seemed very spiritual. Like this didn't seem like any other relationship. It was like an actual spiritual connection for you with this person. So this was great for relationships. I can't wait for y'all to get to December because y'all are going to have a great year of relationship connection. And this could also look like for business. Maybe you guys um, successfully found someone to go into business with or the business partnership that you were already in um, was very beneficial for you. And this was great for those of you that had a legal affair or a legal challenge going on. You may have um, come to um, a favorable outcome during that time. So legal affairs may have been... Um, just went smoothly for you, Virgo Risings. Libra Rising, Sun or Moon. This period was in your the area of the chart that governs your health and fitness. Um, this also is the area that governs our work environment uh, and the people that we work around and how we are of service to others. So this could have looked like, with regards to that period, um, now, this could have been kind of a tricky one with Libra Risings. Because it's the area of health and fitness, you're another one that probably had to watch your weight, okay? Because, again, when Jupiter comes to a house, it comes there to expand, okay? Um, so you may have had to watch your weight and your eating, you know, may have put on a little weight or something like that. Uh, but where I see that this probably was a, you know, a big deal for you was... In your work environment, um, some of you um, may have gotten promotions um, or just your work environment became more harmonious. Maybe you were getting along better with your coworkers. Maybe you were getting along better with um, your manager or supervisor. Maybe you're the manager or supervisor and it just seemed like the your department was just in a better mood and people were just... Um, just easier to work with. This could have seen growth in your work environment. So maybe you guys hired some people or your department expanded, or maybe you got some type of promotion or something to that effect. Or maybe the idea of a promotion came across your, you know, uh, across your desk or something. And you may be uh, thinking about at, uh, by the time we get to December, um, moving up in your company or some of you actually may be getting a new job, which is a blessing of Jupiter. 
And you could get um, multiple opportunities to uh, get a new job. So I would strongly suggest that um, I leave a risings, dust off your resumes, because um, this is going to be great energy for you to find a new job. Um, this will also be good for you in the area of health and fitness. You may feel more optimistic about the, the area of your health. Um, you may be in a better mood mentally. This should have helped you mentally to be a little bit happier. Maybe it lifted your spirits. Again, once we get to December, you have a full year of this. You're going to be one of those that needs to be very, very mindful of your weight because Jupiter is going to be there and it's going to be all about um, your weight. Okay. And again, abundance in eating. So just be mindful of that. Scorpio rising, sun and moon. That two month window was in your fifth house of uh, joy and fun. So this could have looked like um, creative projects that you had just seem to just be divinely blessed. Um, I feel like you guys found your joy again during that two month window. Uh, very optimistic with opportunities. You're another one that if you did any investments, if you did the stock market, this may have been really, really good for you with regards to the stock market. Um, and Scorpio Risings, um, this is the, the area of the chart that governs your uh, gambling and games of chance. You guys could actually win the lottery. Now, I don't know how much of the lottery. I'm not going to say that. But you guys have a, have this energy that could definitely um, make you a little money with the stock market, uh, going down to the casino, and maybe hitting something on the lottery. So if you hit the lottery, don't forget your girl, because I, I told you. Now, this is also the area of... Um, Procreation and children. So some of my uh, Scorpio Risings trying to get pregnant, found out that they were pregnant, um, or at the end of the year, you guys may be getting pregnant because this Jupiter is there to expand and bring a blessing. So if you're ready to start a family, uh, this is going to be excellent for you. If you ain't ready, already started it within that two-month window, because some of you did find out you were pregnant, or expecting a baby. And even if you're out of the baby making age, uh, maybe someone close to you uh, is having a baby. So this could look like one of your children is having their first baby and you're becoming a grandparent or maybe your sister or maybe some just someone around you close either had a baby and it just kind of like impacted your family. And this actually could be something that comes up at the end of the year during that time. So if any of my Scorpio Risings end up having a baby, adopting a baby, fostering a baby or whatever it is, let me know. And also when I say baby, this could mean um, any creative project that you have that you're trying to develop, that is your baby and you are putting it out to the world and it needs to be nurtured and cared for. That's your baby. So definitely with that. Now, Scorpio Risings, this is a great area of the chart for you to have dating opportunities. So you will have an abundance of dating opportunities. This is the house where it governs romance and love affairs. Now, keep in mind, this may not necessarily be relationships that stick because it's the dating house, the love affair house. This is actually the hookup house, the friends with benefits. We just having a good time. Um, so, I would not get so wrapped up into it. Um, there could be somebody in there that turns out to be special, but I always say don't put all your eggs in one basket because you will have an abundance of dating opportunities during this time. I want my Scorpio Risings to get out and date and have a good time. If someone eventually stands out, then you can focus on that. But um, have a good time with this Scorpio Rising. Um, Sagittarius rising, sun or moon. This two month window put a lot of thought of buying a home on your mind, expanding your home um, where you live. So this could have been an actual purchase of a home or just the starting of the concept that you want to buy a home or you need more space. Okay. 
Or even if it's not as big as you buying and selling a property, this could have looked like you wanted to redecorate and make, make your current space look differently for my Sagittarius risings. Now, um, if it's none of those things, this could have been um, changes in your home with the dynamics of your home. Jupiter brings abundance. because So this could have been my Sagittarius risings. A lot of you, somebody moved in with you. Um, so that was a change. You're another one that could have had a baby. So that expanded your family. Um, maybe Sagittarius risings, um, because this is the house of the mother, you guys reconnected with your mom. You spent more time with your mother or you should have, uh, spent more time with your mother, but the dynamics of your home life are definitely changing, uh, again, when we get to December, um, so be prepared. I think my Sagittarius Risings are ready to get out and buy that home, buy that piece of property, expand their family. There is going to be a lot of activity activity with regards to family-related things for you, Sagittarius Rising. Capricorn Rising or Sun or Moon, that two-month window was all about your um, teaching and learning opportunities. Um, this was all about marketing yourself. This was is going to be excellent for Capricorn Risings that are in sales. This is going to just bring an abundance of customers to you. It's going to make you more outgoing. People are going to want to buy things from you, you know, be engaged with you. So if you're in marketing, in sales, or anything that has to do with you putting yourself out there and selling yourself or selling your product, Capricorn Rising, you are going to be on fire at the end of the year for this entire year. So I strongly suggest that you get ready to hit the pavement because you could really, really do well for yourself if you're in marketing and sales. This is also good for those that are in media. So this could look like my YouTubers, podcasts, radio, um, commercials, any social media, anything that has to do with getting your face or your message out, communication. This is going to open up and this is like communication for the masses because this is Jupiter. This is expansive energy. So definitely get that whole concept of getting yourself out there. Those of you that are writing a book or want to write a book, I would strongly suggest if you got that book, it's time to publish it and put it out to the masses because it is going to be received very well. Uh, Capricorn Risings, this is some of you are, are probably going to end up buying a new car if you didn't buy the car already. Um, a new car may come into play. This is contract negotiations. Um, this is just a lot of activity with regards to getting yourself out and getting your message out. Now, this is also the area that governs our siblings. So this could be increased interaction with your siblings. This actually could be a blessing or a benefit coming through one of your siblings or your extended family, or maybe um, you also could be getting new neighbors or moving to a new neighborhood could be the thing for you and uh, Capricorn rising. Um, this will be great for you to, to travel also. Now, not so much travel like cancer rising. This is going to look like travel of short distance travel. So this would be great for road trips for you. Um, just getting in the car, going on a road trip, or even if you took a plane, this would be anything that doesn't require a passport for you would be great for you, Capricorn Rising. Aquarius, Rising, Sun or Moon, this is energy should have been in your second house. Earned income, your money. And we talked about this earlier, Aquarius Rising. So this was great for money making opportunities, starting a business, money just coming out of everywhere. But you're going to work for this money. This is not going to be like just the money that's dropped on you like Leo Risings, get it, you know, got it, you know, unexpected money. You're going to actually work for this money. However, um, it's going to be very beneficial for you. So if you're the Aquarius Risings that are ready to start a business or have started, business, have started a business, uh, you're going to see increased activity, increased sales, whatever it is you do in your business, it will increase tenfold, but you're going to work, 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 work for it, but it's going to be very beneficial for you. Aquarius Risings, because Jupiter is in your second house, and we talked about this, um, be careful about overspending. Um, you are going to make money, 
and just as fast as you get it, you're going to want to spend it. Uh, I strongly suggest that you hold on to some of that money. I didn't say you couldn't buy anything because I know y'all going to buy you something, but don't overestimate what you have. And please don't spend money that you haven't made yet. You're in a great space to make good money uh, at the end of the year, but um, let's just be smart with it. And even if you're not a business owner, this would be great for uh, my Aquarius Risings that want to find a new job. Or if you love your current job, you should ask for a raise. Okay? That's that. And finally, Pisces Rising Sun or Moon. This was in your first house. I love when Jupiter's in the first house because Jupiter in the first house, you anything is possible for Pisces Rising. Anything is possible because Jupiter is in your sign. You are limitless on what you can do and achieve for yourself. So there is no dream, goal, or wish that is too big for the universe when you have Jupiter in your sign. Okay? So I want you to dream big, Pisces rising sun or moon. I want you to dream big. Now, speaking of big, you're another one. Pisces in your first house, that means your body. Eat, 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 eat. This will put weight on you because you are in such a good space. You just love, you want to do all these things. You want to eat. Everything is overboard. So you are, again, you're one of those that really needs to just be mindful. Jupiter makes the body expand. Be careful with the weight. However, again, you're going to be divinely blessed opportunities are going to be abundant to you. And this is going to be a great time for you. I'm super excited for Pisces Risings um, at the end of the year. Um, this is going to be great for you. Now, a word of caution for my Pisces Rising Sun or Moon. Your sign has no boundaries. You are a sign that just does not know boundaries sometimes. I need you to be careful if you are a Pisces Sun, Moon, or Rising that has a tendency to, and I am not judging, ain't none of my, I don't care what you do, but if you dabble in extracurricular type of activities or you have certain addictions or certain things that you know that you do that could be harmful to you, you are going to have to be careful with going overboard with this, okay? So I'm going to just be real serious about this because I, I, Take this very seriously. Those Pisces sun, moon, or risings that are on medication, please be careful with over-medicating yourself because this could definitely happen. Um, just be mindful of the situations that you put yourself in um, that could get out of hand. And you have to be very, very careful of making, putting up healthy boundaries for people. Please do that, Pisces Risings. Other than that, um, you guys are going to have a phenomenal year at the end of the year. And I'm so excited for you guys. Now, so we're already prepared for the end of the year. So we're going to talk now quickly about what is happening right now with that Jupiter going back into Aquarius from today until December. And it's going to be a little bit different. And I'm going to run through this really quickly so we can get off of here because I didn't plan on being on here more than two hours and I'm getting to my two hour mark. Uh, Aquarius, sun, moon, arising. We're talking about currently now from today until the end of the year, Jupiter in Aquarius. Now, Jupiter is, I think it's a retrograde. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. So Jupiter is currently in retrograde from June 20th to October the 18th. When a planet is in retrograde, that means it is not working at its had to start putting boundaries in place. Yeah, you need to do that. You need to stick with them. Um, when a planet is in retrograde, that means it's not working to its fullest potential. You know, it is the time that you need to go back and reflect on things now. It's Jupiter is one of the planets that even in retrograde, it's still going to give you a blessing. Um, but it wants you to reflect on certain things at this time. OK, uh, so from June the 20th to October the 18th, Jupiter will be in retrograde. So just keep that in mind about reflecting 
and certain things are going to come up again for you and you'll see it happen again. So from today until December the 30th, this is how Jupiter and Aquarius is going to plan out, pan out. And again, with Jupiter and Aquarius, situations will come back from the past. Experiences will come back from the past. Things that you've went through will come back from the past. People will come back from the past. This time around, I need you to take the emotion out of the situation. Detach the emotion and look at the situation in a logical, unemotional way. Jupiter and Pisces puts all the feeling in everything. And we can't, we, we can't use that kind of energy. I need you to detach the emotion from these things. And you need to make smart decisions here from July to December. Okay? Not emotional decisions. Smart decisions. Okay? And it may not feel good um, at the time, but it definitely will help you. So Aries, a, a rising sun or moon, Jupiter and Aquarius is going to be in your friendship sector. So this is probably going to look like friends from the past coming back, um, issues within your friendships coming up again, possibly. This could also look like um, groups that you've been a part of, that you've made your part, yourself a part of, reflecting on whether or not these organizations still resonate with you and whether you want to be a part of them. Um, when we say your friendships, people coming back from your past, old friends that you're running into, you may not even run into them. Maybe you start to think about them. If there's been issues within your friendships, that's definitely going to come up again. You need to take the emotion out of the situation and figure out, is this a friendship that I want to continue? Is this going to work for me? Uh, if not, I need to detach from the situation. This could also look like because it's the, the uh, area of your hopes, dreams, and wishes, you may get revisited by a goal or a, a, a project or some type of dream you had for yourself that did not pan out. Um, go back over that and look at that differently this time. You may be able to rework that situation or that goal that you had and make it look differently this go around and be able to bring it to fruition in a different innovative way okay taurus rising sun and moon the jupiter in aquarius is going to be in your career house so this could look like um if there were career opportunities that you think that you thought you missed out on those may come around again they definitely could come around again for you uh, but I need you to look at it logically. Uh, take the emotion out of it. Is this actually a career opportunity for you that you want to take advantage of? Um, or was your ego just bruised because, you know, it didn't work out? Uh, but it may come back around for you again career-wise um, because this is a relationship house also. This could bring back old partners um, that you may have dated before. Um, you do what you please with that, but just definitely take the emotion out of it. I'm telling you. Uh, and again, authority figures, um, your dad, this may bring up some old unresolved issues that you guys may have had. And it's time for you to start healing those, take the emotion out of it and see it for what it really is. Gemini rising, sun or moon, this Jupiter and Aquarius from, um, Today until the end of December is going to be in the area that governs your long distance travels. So you're going to be one that uh, maybe the opportunity to travel uh, internationally may come up for you uh, within this next few months. Um, so get those passports together. Um, educational pursuits may come back around. You're another one that probably will be going back to school soon. Uh, I would definitely strongly suggest that. So. Uh, maybe going back to school, uh, maybe going back to an old area of study that you've had before will be good for that. Um, a reconnection of your faith is going to be, uh, in the next few months, very important for you. And you may just adopt some new views on life. I feel like um, my Gemini Risings, you probably guys are probably just going to like see life totally different, see people different, the world different, and how you 
view the world and everything that's going on around you will look very, very different from you. But again, you're another one. Take the emotion out of it. And let's look at this logically and how this is going to uh, affect your life. Sometimes we put too much emotion in things and we make decisions based on emotion. And that's not the best thing for us. So Cancer, Rising, Sun, or Moon, this Jupiter and Aquarius over the next few months will be in the area that governs your um, finances and resources that you share with another person. So um, this definitely could look like um, you need to definitely review anything, resources, finances, anything you share with another person. Cancer Rising, you probably need to take a really good hard look at those things. You may have been missing something. I'm not saying that someone has been purposely deceiving you, but could be. Um, you definitely just need to take a look at who you're sharing your finances and your resources with. If you're one of those that's kind of like hands off when it comes to business um, or hands off when it comes to paying bills and you just really don't know what's going on and how much is going in and out of your house, uh, I would strongly suggest in the next few months that you start paying attention because you may be unpleasantly surprised um, about what you don't have and you thought you did. Um, this could also be an energy for cancer risings. Uh, old tax issues may come up. Uh, so I would strongly suggest that you get any type of receipts together that you need. I am not uh, speaking an audit on you, but who knows? It, it, because this is the area that governs taxes, and it may be something good. You may get an unexpected tax refund. I'm not, I'm not even going to make it negative, but it could go either way with your taxes. Um, and this could bring back people into your life. This could definitely bring back people into your life. Um, because this is the eighth house of sex and intimacy. This could bring someone back. Or if you are connected with someone um, this could maybe bring up an issue that you thought you had taken care of, cancer rising, and it is coming up again, okay? Or, or this could be an intimacy issue. Sometimes um, the intimacy with you and another partner is not where you want it to be, and now you want to look at it again and see if you guys can come um, become closer. This would be great for you to try to do that. Leo, rising sun or moon, this is going to be in your seventh house. Okay, Leo Risings, um, because this is the seventh house, um, this could look like romantic partners coming back into your life. Um, this could look like the one that got away coming back into your life, and you need to decide whether or not you want to actually pursue this relationship and really trying to figure out um, if is this where I want to be romantically. Um, some of my Leo Rises might be getting married. Um, or at least maybe a proposal. Or at best, uh, someone asking you to uh, consider a relationship with them. But this could, it just could be definitely somebody coming back around um, if you are single, um, if you are connected, married, or in a long-term relationship, Leo rising, this may look like, um, again, you could be one of those that has relationship issues that just come back up that you thought were resolved. And here it is again, and we are dealing with this again. Take the emotion out of it and try to address it, you know, with detaching the emotion. Um and because this is the area of legal affairs, this, I don't know, this might be a, an old legal situation coming up again. But this, I feel like for Leo Rises, this definitely has everything to do with your uh, love life. And um, it could get very interesting over the next five months. I'm going to just leave it at that because I'm a Leo Rising. <sighs> okay, moving on. Uh, Virgo, <laughs> Virgo rising, sun or moon. Um, this is going to be in your health house. So this could it definitely look like old health issues coming back up that you have not addressed. If you're one of those Virgo risings that have had health issues and you know who you are and you have just kind of like pushed them under the rug, haven't dealt with them and you knew you needed to deal with them. This could be a period in the next five months that if you don't address them, it's going to come up and it's not going to be good. So I would rather, rather you get in front of it and be proactive instead of reactive. So, and when I say health, this could be 
physical health and mental health. Um, so I would strongly suggest that you go and take your checkups, you know, any aches and pains, go to the doctor, deal with what you need to deal with. Um, because this could bring up a health crisis for you in the next five months. And it can be avoided if you get in front of it now and just take care of yourself. If you don't have any health issues, this could definitely look like you needing to revisit and go back and find out uh, and figure out a new health and fitness plan for yourself. You will definitely need that. Um, Work-wise, some of you may have... Um, job opportunities that may come back up. Maybe um, a job that you applied for and didn't hear about anymore, they call you back for an interview or they, maybe the person that they hired didn't work out and they wanna see if you're still interested. Um, this could look like an opportunity maybe at your current job uh, to go into a position that may have uh, been put on hold for whatever reason and now it's open again and you wanna apply for it that could be something. Um, this could also be because it is the area that governs small pets. If some of you, I don't know, if somebody lost a pet or a pet ran away or something like that, uh, maybe the pet finds its way back home. Or if you were one of those that lost a pet, um, maybe you're ready to replace them now. Okay. Uh, Libra rising sun or moon. This is going to be in the next few months all about your fifth house. Um, of joy, procreation, children, you know, stock market, your creativity. So this could definitely be uh, a time where maybe some of you are thinking about having a baby. Uh, maybe you're ready to have a baby. Maybe you put the baby making plans on hold and you're ready to revisit them again and you want to try again for a new baby. Um, maybe uh, something with regards to your children, an opportunity comes up for your children uh, that may have been put on hold because of COVID, because of school. You know what? This has everything to do with those children returning to school. So those children are going back to school. So you're sending them back to school, returning to school and their normal activity. That could be what's happening with the kids. Um, you may feel like um, you may get uh, a renewal of a hobby or something that you used to love to do, you may start to feel like you want to get back into that. And um, yeah, just your joy, just finding your joy again, Libra, because maybe some of you lost it along your way. Just finding your joy is a good thing for you over the next few months. Scorpio rising, Scorpio sun. If you have been stalling out with um, real estate situation, some of you have been trying to sell a house, buy a house, whatever it is with regards to real estate, and it has just not been moving like you wanted to move. Um, this is a great time for you to look at the situation differently. Scorpio risings, sun or moon, I'm sure y'all have gotten emotional about this whole family dynamic, housing dynamic, whatever is going on in this house has not been the most comfortable for you for a few months. So we are back in the energy to address it now, but you're going to take the emotion out of it, okay? Take your emotions out of it, look at it logically, and see how you can come to a resolution with regards to whatever uh, family situation is going on. Um, this could be good energy for getting that property sold that stalled out, but this is also energy for dealing with family dynamics that just have not been resolved uh, particularly with your mother or the women to your, in your immediate family. Because uh, I feel like some of my Scorpio Rising has been going through it with their family and it's just not been a great dynamic. So this is great for you to detach from that and get that resolved. Uh, you're another one that may see someone come back or want to come back and move into your house. And this could also bring back a renewal of a romantic relationship for you too. Somebody wanting to come back into your heart, which is your home. Okay, so that's my Scorpio Risings. Keep me posted on that because I'm interested in finding out what's going on with that. Sagittarius Rising, Sun or Moon. This is everything to do with your siblings. So this is a reconnection with your siblings. I feel like Sagittarius 
rising sun or moons, I think you and your siblings have been disconnected for a little while, especially those that had a really close relationship. And y'all are trying to figure out why y'all so dis disconnected because nothing probably happened. Nothing was said. But I don't know if one of your siblings or you're the sibling that is going through something and you need the support of your siblings. So I need you to reconnect with your siblings because one of your siblings and you may be the sibling is struggling, struggling emotionally, struggling with something going on with them and they need to reconnect with you. Or this could be your immediate family. Maybe you've been disconnected from them and you need them now and you just want to feel close to them. Uh, go ahead and reach out. Go ahead and reach out. Um, and this could also look like you being able to resolve a neighbor situation or something going on with your neighborhood or your community has been a problem. Maybe we can resolve that. Um, you're another one that if um, you're in sales and marketing, get back in that Rolodex. I know a lot of people don't know what a Rolodex is. That's so old school. Well, directory or whatever you call it and start contacting these old customers, old opportunities. Stuff like that is going to come back with to you. Missed opportunities for sales, marketing, communications is all going to come up for you. And you're another one. If you do business online, I need you to go and look at your social media platforms and rework those platforms or maybe just get more active on your social media platforms. Capricorns, rising sun or moon. This is all about your money house and Capricorns love to earn money. So this could be missed money making opportunities come back around. Um, this could be um, job, um, job opportunities coming back around. Um, everything to do with how you earn your money. Um, Capricorn Rising, if you were one of those that had a second stream of income or you used to do a side business, you may need to start looking at that again to bring that back and breathe new energy into that side business. That may be a thing for you. Um, also, just your work environment and how you earn money is going to need you to breathe new life into this. Jupiter's in retrograde, and if, even though it just kind of like does not work and it's 100% best, it's still a good energy. Uh, and because it's in Aquarius, um, some Capricorn Risings may need to consider working online or doing some type of online business or presence would be great for that. Cap I'm sorry, Aquarius, rising sun or moon. This is going to be in your first house, Jupiter in retrograde. You need to watch your weight and how much you eat. Um, but this is still good energy in your first house because this is all about you. So you could start to think about restarting your, your self-improvement process. Maybe you fell off. Maybe you started a new health and fitness. Maybe you started trying to revamp your wardrobe and somehow you got derailed. This would be great for you to start that self-improvement process over again. Aquarius Risings, you're going to be another one much like Leo Risings that going to have old loves that come up again. I don't know how you feel about that. Take the emotion out of it. If the relationship wasn't good, it wasn't healthy, it's no point of you going back down that road again. But you may see um, people coming back into your life. And it may not just be romantic. It may be friends. It may be family. Uh, missed opportunities coming back. So any and everything could possibly happen to Aquarius Risings because it is in your sign. So just look for anything to happen and a lot of reworking of stuff. And finally... Pisces rising sun or moon. This is going to be in your uh, 12th house of hidden things. Now, one of the things that I will say for my Pisces rising sun or moons, um, you probably are going to be visited uh, with people that have crossed over into the afterlife. Definitely could be a thing for you. So you may start to have those encounters. Um, there are messages in those encounters when we have people our loved ones have have crossed over and they come back and revisit us in some form uh and this could be an actual experience of them you know you seeing them or this could be like something to the effect of you meet a total stranger and they say something to you that reminds you of someone that has transitioned over and there is a message in there or you meet someone that just seems very familiar to you 
um, and they are speaking through this person. Uh, you definitely could be having those experiences over the next five months. Uh, Pisces rising, sun and moon. If y'all are in these secret love affairs, uh, child, you're probably going to be found out. That's, I'm just saying, not judging. And this could also look like um, if you um, start a relationship, um, keeping it kind of like on a down low. You don't want nobody to know about it. And it has nothing to do with it being inappropriate. You just want to kind of like keep it private to yourself because you just want to have that to yourself and you don't want anybody in your business. That could be a thing for you. Um, also, hearing from people in specialized populations, uh, somebody in a hospital, maybe reaching out to you, needing your help, somebody that is incarcerated, uh, sending you a letter, maybe it's a family member or something, and they're reaching out to you because they want to connect, whatever that situation may be, you handle it the way you see fit. Uh, but this is also a great time for um, my Pisces Risings to just take a step back, um, take yourself out of whatever's going on with you. You need to recharge. Um, I see a lot of my Pisces Rising Sun and Moons going into seclusion and kind of withdrawing themselves to kind of get away from all the stimulation that's going on and uh, just to get their mind centered. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you need to disconnect, you should. If you are in a space where you can take a trip, a solo trip, I would strongly suggest that for you because it's going to be great for your mental and your spiritual health. All right. And that is how the rest of the year is going to pan out for each rising sign. And then we got a little sneak peek of what is coming up. Uh, for next year. So does anyone have any questions, comments, or needs me to review any of the information uh, before we leave here? And this is perfect timing. I am getting so good with this timing because I said I was going to be on here from seven to nine, no later than nine, and it is 845. So I'm doing really, really great with this. So does anyone have any questions that I could go over? Again, this video stays up and you will also be able to see it on my YouTube channel when I upload it there, but you can always come back and review it. But while I'm here, ask your questions. I'll be more than it. Capricorn. Capricorn.